What is up, guys? Today I'm going to do another review, and this is going to be on the the Dell KM636 keyboard. Um, it's in the box. just came in. Um, I'm going to open it, and when I do, I'll be right back. Alright, guys, so I've opened the box. Um, so, inside there's a keyboard, a mouse, and a receiver that works for both the keyboard and the mouse. Um, they also came with a startup guide, um, some terms and conditions, terms of sale, and some more information. Anyways, so I'm gonna, um, four basic things, of, um, the few basic things I'm gonna go over are the, um, is the sound, the reactivity, I guess, to the computer, um, like, and the mouse sensitivity, or what it's set at. I guess just like, whether I think this is good for my needs, I guess. So, first we're gonna do with the sound. It doesn't have that um, the clicky sound like this. This is my older keyboard. It's a Logitech. I'm not gonna sh actually. Yeah, it's this one. Um, it ha this is the sound from the Logitech keyboard, and this is from the Dell. It's um kind of like muffled. It sounds like a muffled clicking sound if you can't hear it through the camera, but uh, or through the speaker. But it's um I like it. It's not as annoying, I guess, and um, it also has a permanent stand that you can't, I that you can't um, closer, I guess. There's an on-off switch. Um, the lights for caps lock or a num lock, and I don't know what the last one's for. Um, this is also where I guess where you put the batteries. It does not come with batteries, but if you, um, you're gonna need. I believe it's double A batteries, two double A for the keyboard. Looks like this. And then for the mouse, um, if I can figure out how to open it. Okay, well, more on that later. I'm gonna figure out how to open it. Oh, now I got it. Just one double A battery. Um, you just pull off the cover like that. Kinda okay, cool. And, um,. Now I guess I'm going to connect it to my computer, and I'll show you how fast it goes, or the reactivity time, stuff like that. Okay, I'm back. Um, I put the batteries in the keyboard, and I plugged it into my computer. Um, I had one small problem. Uh, when I tried to put it back the battery case, this happened. Um, I don't know why, but I tried for a couple of minutes, and it hasn't popped on. It's kind of, and I tried, I can't take it out. So I'll have to try that later, but that's that's already one con I have with this keyboard. Um, but aside from that, um, I think the um, response times are actually um, well, like any other regular keyboard, it's not it's not terrible, and it's I guess I'd say it, it's not perfect. On a scale of one to ten, I'd rate it like a seven or six. Um, and the mouse, um, it just responds like a mouse. I use a mouse pad, so it's, um, I had this mouse originally, it's a gaming mouse. Um, I prefer this mouse over this mouse just because of, uh, the feeling. It's a, this is a little rough on the edges, so if you're working long hours on this mouse, you might get sores. Um, but other than that, I'd say this is a pretty average keyboard for its price. I got this for... Uh, the white one for twenty nine ninety seven on Amazon dot com. Um, it's a KM six hundred thirty six keyboard, a uh, white edition. You can get a black one. Uh, this is also wireless. If you didn't know. You can also get a black one for twenty two ninety nine. Um, I think it's a fairly good price for what it is. It could be a bit cheaper for the white keyboard, but I mean it's white. It's um, maybe the camera won't pick it up because it looks super white on screen, but it's actually kind of. Um, a little bit of beige in it. It's not. It's not completely white like this mouse. Um, I think that's all I have for my review. Oh, and also the lights on the keyboard shine really dimly. Maybe that's just the batteries I'm using, but it's not bright at all. So you have. You can. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there you go. It's lit up. Um, and then I guess when I put it upside down, it just got brighter. But when it. Yeah. 
It's it's pretty well. I guess it's not great. It's not bad again. Um, this is pretty average keyboard. Um, you can get a better one online for a better price probably. But me with Dell and white. This is just what I chose. And overall, I'm satisfied with my um, with my buy. Um, so again, I'm gonna show you the sound of the clicking and then the mouse. It's not silent. If any, if that's what you're into. It's not silent. Um, how to open the case for the back of the mouse is just, um, use something. There you go, you just pop it off like that. You just, and you might feel like you're breaking it, but you're not, so you just pull, and it pops off. Um, and this thing will hold down the, the battery if you need that. Um, also, side note, this uses AA, and this uses two AAAs. So, I did not know that. So that was my bad. Um, I think that's all I have for my review today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you this if this review helps you, make sure to like it and comment on any things. That, <coughs> excuse me, things I might have missed in my video. Thanks for watching.